Hi everybody, welcome back. We've got a nice hunt going on here and this has been a long one, but it's finally, finally, finally coming to an end. That's right, we're in South Karana and guess who we're hunting today? You've got it, we're hunting Quillmane and this is the hardest, hardest mob to ever, ever get to spawn. I've had this character and other characters camped out here for on and off for weeks. And just whenever I can log in, I log in and kill a whole bunch of stuff and um, see if I can get him. Now, the problem is with Quillmane is finding out what the placeholder is. Once you get the placeholder, then you know what to kill. But the problem is, is in on a real server, a, a, a TLP server, for example, everybody's out here killing stuff. So you don't know what the, the placeholder is. And what ends up happening is you have to basically kill everything and just hope that you can get Quillmane. So we've got Quillmane on track finally. Let me just go ahead and show you this ranger. I had two rangers actually, one at the top of zone and one at the bottom of zone. And let's take a look at what track is on this character. So tracking is 300. This is a max. It doesn't get any higher. Level 85 uh, ranger will track at 300 also. This is a good uh, tracking range. It doesn't cover the whole zone, but it can cover about half of the uh, zone here. So you can get a good half of the zone, it seems like, and uh, something to cover the, the top half. So anyway, let's go ahead and follow Quillmane around. I know the screen's going to look a little cluttered here, but I want to do this so that you can um, get an idea for what I'm seeing out here. Okay, off we go on our little horse, and uh, we're going to try to catch up to good old Quillmane. And it's just, uh, he's, he or she's been roaming around this whole area here. There's no real pattern, but once we catch up to her, we're going to follow her around so you can see what the pattern is. You can know what to kill. I've just pretty much mowed everything down. This character's uh, best character for the kind of job because it can kill everything with ranged attack. You can just uh, select the next target, range attack, and just keep selecting the next and next and just kill everything in your field of uh, view. Okay, where are you? To the right, straight ahead. Where are you? Coming up, ahead and to the left. Straight ahead. Okay, see, it's even hard. Look at this. It was, she was down at the bottom, he or she was down at the bottom of the screen of the map earlier, but now heading all the way up to the top. Wow. So it could be, it could be anywhere. This is what I found out. You can read a lot of things about, well, it spawns down here. No, it just, you just get your two rangers on and you mow everything down and just pray and just pray that you're going to get this look at this we're almost all this is unbelievable we're going to go airborne here so we get a good look below us and this character is actually able to track further than i thought or quillmane is moving at a good speed we're going to see where this uh crazy pegasus is there she is look at it moving fast at spirit of wolf speed Okay, so now you've got it. So keep in mind where we are. We're going to start following Quillmane around. And this way you can find out where this Pegasus is. Okay, so there's Quillmane. And level 30. <laughs> it's not the level that's going to be the problem. Be finding this crazy thing. That's right. And here we go. Probably running about Spirit of Wolf speed. So it's time to change. So now you got a little bit to left of Lord Grimlock. Got to make sure nothing else kills poor Quillmane. And as you can see, it does not see through Inviso. Nice to get some screenshots and we'll wait. So she can wait right here. The problem is, is up here, is if you wait over here and everybody's down there, they're gonna, somebody's gonna nail her. Okay, so it's turning back, following her. So you know where her pathing is. Once you know where the pathing is, you can just hang out along these tracks here and wait. And then what we can do after we kill her is, I don't, there's nobody else in the zone. As you can see, I can kill Quillmane and set the track into normal. That'll show the very next mob that spawns. And that'll tell us right there 
what the uh, where the spawn point is. Once you figure out the spawn point, then you can wait on top of the spawn point. All right, Quillmane. So sit back, get something to drink, and hop into your easy chair because this is going to be a long one. Normally, I just kill this Quillmane, but what I want to do is um, show you guys what the track, the pathing is. This is the biggest clue you can get to getting this character because you can look at what else tracks in this area. There's not a lot of stuff here, but if you see something tracking right around here, you can best believe it's probably going to be the placeholder. And if you get the placeholder, no matter what, you've got a chance of getting this. Remember, I've been out here a couple weeks on and off trying to get it and first time ever. And no, the server hasn't been rebooted. It's just been continually cleaned of mobs out here. It looks like Quillman got a little tired. So um, getting a little tired. We're going to go ahead and change this to, I should set it to normal. But uh, who knows, maybe we'll see some other named out here. Now it's just moving slow as molasses. Come on, Quillman. You can do it. And then we'll go ahead and kill her at the end and uh, see what she's got on her. All right, and keep going. And set this to consider. Have a little fun with a Nolish Zealot. Wow. Look at all these other things out in South Karana. Let's go ahead and change it to normal this way. After we kill Quilmane, we'll see. And then remember, an elephant calf is at the top of the list. We'll see what spawns after that. Very, very important encounter here. As I'll tell you guys, I have never seen Quillmane, ever. This is the first time ever. Even when I was on Project 99, never saw a Quillmane. Obviously, you'll never see her over there. The people kill her as soon as it spawns. It's she, he or she spawns. And here, a live server's never seen her. And this is a test server. And this is the only place you're ever going to get a chance to set things up optimally where you can track her. If I was doing this on a a regular server, a TLP server or something like that. Somebody come by and just kill steal this uh, this this NPC, this monster. No doubt about it. They just run up and start shooting and I'd have to kill it. And we never learn anything about what the uh, pathing is. But here you can see the pathing. It's so, so important. We're getting down. So you can see where she was up by Grimlot on the left. Um, going this way. Taking her sweet time, enjoying the scenery out there. Nice little trees in the background, a nice green area. Of course, Quilmain never gets tired. Uh, just casually wandering around. So this is where, there's nothing else out here. Look for it along the edge. You can see the map like this. I'll go ahead and keep it this way so you can uh, get an idea of where we are. I'll go about like that. we're going still there's an elephant okay so you might get fooled thinking that elephant is a placeholder but heck if he's here he's close enough to be a placeholder you just go ahead and kill him too kill everything in this path you see a lion out there there's another lion Quilmane can hold her own at level 30 for a while but by the time you get Quilmane you may be level 50 and there over there is a looks like an aviac there's an aviac over there. More lions, lion, elephant, the zoo, pretty much everything. Got my Merc on passive. In fact, I would just take the Merc off, save some money. And we're right on the side of the map. Yep, we're still following Quillamine. Yep, where are you going here? 
shows it right over here, but um, could be anywhere. I think she will track through the Aviac village. In fact, I'm just going to go to F10 so you get a better view, but I need to keep the map up, sadly. There you go. You can see the map. Let's make the map even bigger because what's most important here is the tracking. And if you guys watch us at a faster speed, you speed up the video or download the video, you can uh, increase the speed that you watch it. Then you can draw a line and get an idea exactly where the tracking is, the pathing is. I'm going to keep following good old Quilmain. I hope after this, making this video that all you out there looking for Quilmain will get this character. I really hope so. I hope this really helps all of you out there because it's really important that people have a chance to get Quilmain and not just it, it go down forever as being one of the most random mobs or difficult to find. I hope it gets to a point where everybody that needs to get this character can get it. Um, it's just painful having to sit out here days and weeks waiting for this crazy white horse uh, to pop up. It just warped ahead. Yep, there we go. Yep, see there's an elephant. Maybe he's on the placeholder list too. A bull elephant. Just watch the tracking. Patient. Be patient. Going to take our time and watch Quilmain. Nice little white horse. Wish I had a mount like this. Be better than riding this brown colored pony. And right now she's against the corner here. So you can see she made a track all the way next to Lord Grimlot, straight down here. I predict she will go to the, take a left turn and go all the way across. And uh, then we'll find out where. Maybe she does a big box. But I could be wrong. She could just stay on the side here. I'm on Quilmain. Just hail her. Nope. And we wait. There you go. Okay, getting ready to turn, I guess. Take a look around. There's an elephant. Actually, when I think about this character and Bilge Farfathom, and I ask myself which one is harder to find, I would have to say this character is much harder to find than Bilge Farfathom. Just Bilge was hard, and it took just a couple days, you know, to find him. But this character, I've been working on it for weeks. So this is weeks. Okay, where are you going? Oh, seriously, you're going north again. That easy. <laughs> it can't be that easy. It can't be this. This would be ridiculous uh, if it was just straight line up and down. There's got to be more to it than this. What I would do is sit right in the middle of the map down here and kill everything in this radius right here. And then one character is up here at the top doing the same thing at the same time. And then I'd log off for a while, do whatever I had to do, come back later, continue the process. And next day, come back, do it for a little while, kill off stuff, go back to, you know, kill like 20 or 30 things, log off, check, kill a bunch more things, and so forth. And I would wait. You gotta be kidding me. This character, this NPC is going all the way back to the north. 
we're going to follow her to the north and then some. This is like, this is not even run speed. This is walk speed. So an elephant calf, so nothing has been killed. This is still the top um, NPC there. Set reverse alpha, see if we can find anything else. Strange Quillmane doesn't have uh, levitate like I do. In fact, when I was killing the mobs in this zone, I didn't even kill anything close to this side, um, which is what I find it's very strange. I didn't get this far. I got probably about a little bit past High Shaman Fido on the map there. We're going to watch. If this is indeed the tracking, then sadly... It was too simple. Hello, Quillmane. How are you doing today? And on and on we go. How long will it take you to get back to Lord Grim Grimrot? Still following, still waiting. Waiting for something dramatic to happen, like a turn right in the middle. But you will notice she's going at a slight angle. It's not, this one should lead her right into Lord Grimlock. So kind of zigzagging the zone up and down. Yep, come on, look at it. It is at an angle. Her path is slightly at an angle. If you look here, she came straight down. Now she's going back here. Looks like on target to run into Grimrot. We will see. Yep, keep going. All the other animals love grip. Love quill main out here. So far, so good. Nobody else in the zone. It's perfect. Just hope the tracking can cover the whole zone after we kill her and wait for the next pop up. Don't know if it's a five minute pop or one minute pop. We're not killing anything else in the zone. Nothing else has killed our elephant calf. The, the mob list, uh, mob count remains the same.
Thanks for hanging in there with me, everybody. Uh, this is a long one, but um, you're going to learn a lot from this. Definitely learn a lot. Don't fall asleep while you're following Quill Main. And yes, there's Lord Grimrot's camp right here. Seem to remember we were right here. And I don't see Lord Grimrock. Let's hope she doesn't get killed in here. And you see the pathing path is different. She went all the way past it this time. Last time she was just on the left. Okay, so an elephant did get killed over there. So this is going to be really difficult. Something killed that elephant that was on track or it went off track. So it might be very, very difficult to find out where the spawn point actually is. And wow, look at this. Right in front of the bridge to North Karana. This is like a happy birthday gift. You just come through the bridge, you zone in, come to the bridge, and Quillmane's waiting on top of the, the hill here for you to kill it. <laughs> Jesus, this is crazy. Let's go a different way, Quillmane. Come on. Okay. Yep, we have something a little different this time, or maybe not. This is slower than walking. Yes, totally different tracking, pathing, I mean. Only one's in the zone.
Okay, everybody, it looks like it's the same path as before. Um, it's just basically Lord Grimrot all the way down this side of the map. Looks like that is pretty much it. I don't see anything different, like just hangs out in this corridor right here. It just seems too simple. Headed more towards Split Paw this time. So you can see it for yourself. I'm still here, and we're still tracking Quellmane. Looks like we're headed straight to Plip, Split Paw. You can see the tracking is kind of a zigzag pattern, a zipper pattern. So when we get to the bottom of the map, we'll, um, it is, I assume Quillmane will come to the bottom and continue this zigzag type pattern. When we do get to that, we'll kill off Quillmane because I think everybody's got a pretty good idea how this thing goes. And this is why people have reported seeing Quillmane in all these different locations. is because this character this NPC will go up down and zigzag
And look at this, the Rorsch Val. Let's kill this guy because it is a rare. Might as well kill it. And this. And what is this here? Null Hide Tome. Okay, now you know how to get the Null Hide Tome. And it's from this guy here. Okay, back to Inviso. And the Null Hide Tome, 10 Intelligence, not bad at all. Negative 10 Strength, not so great. But this, this NPC may not spawn on a TLP server. This may just be for live servers or uh, servers that are more advanced. I do remember this spawning somewhere. I believe it was Split Paw, but we have the upgraded Split Paw 2.0 on this server, so we won't know. And we're heading down here to Aviac Village. See how far she goes. So if you are in the village, there's a chance she may show up. Okay, there's our elephant calf on the track. I'm inclined to think that uh, Quillmane will spawn down here somewhere. And uh, what I will do is we'll do the kill and we'll just take a chance on it. Kill her somewhere down here. This way we'll know where the placeholder is. There's the chicken city there. Okay, yeah, we'll just kill her somewhere. Though my tracking can cover most of this area here. So that's about good right there. I don't want to go too far because I want to see what the next pop is okay guys here we go the moment you've been waiting for let's pop quill main and let's see what the loot is okay and these are feathered leggings <laughs> keep in mind i believe she drops a pegasus cloak uh which is uh has an effect of levitate but this is it right here this item so now we're going to wait here and it's going to be a little, we'll wait a little while. It should be a fast respawn. And let's see where the respawn comes in. I'm going to move to the middle of the map so I get maximum coverage out here. Uh, about right here. I think I can cover most of this lower half of the zone out here. And we're going to wait. Okay, so just uh, hang in there, everybody.
Okay, and there it is. Whoops. A shadow wolf. This is the one that just spawned. The other one is behind and to the right. Let's see. Wasn't that shadow wolf. Okay. Oh, that's it. You got to be kidding me. This is it. This is the placeholder for Quilmine. That was the next thing. You know it's not the Knoll because the Knoll is the one we killed. This is it. So guys, let's follow it. And we're going to find out what the placeholder is, where the placeholder goes. If it has the same uh, pathing, then we know it is uh, Quilmine's placeholder. So indeed, it did spawn kind of near the middle here where Quilmaine, uh is supposed to spawn. So if people are killing things and you wait right around this area, you can see where we were on the map, then if Quilmaine's up, Quilmaine should spawn right there, right in that spot if everybody kills the other stuff. So say you're on a TLP. You stay right there, let everybody kill all the stuff around there, especially these people hunting the chicken ranch. And then Quilmaine should pop right here uh, if it's not already up, if he or she is not. And you will notice the similarity in the pathing. Interesting. So if you're looking, if you're looking at Alakazam under Quilmaine, there's somebody that posted that said there is only one placeholder for Quilmaine and the Shadow Wolf is one of them. And this is it here. But you can see it right here. We know we killed a knoll. Um, so the only things we killed were Quilmaine and a knoll. We know the respawn is about one minute, which is uh, probably accurate. But they said it's a rectangular area, but we notice it. I notice it's kind of a straight, could be a wet rectangle area, but it's kind of a straight line on the left side. Very small rectangular area. Sadly, the Pegasus Feather Cloak is the rare drop. Okay, let's kill this thing and see if in one minute we get a quill main or what the next spawn is. The possible uh, placeholders are lion, lioness. Let's get you take this down here. We're gonna go back down to where a quill main supposedly spawns and find out. We're gonna watch our track.
Should be about a minute respawn. This is far enough. Okay, time to wait. So you can see here, this, the pathing they said is a rectangle area, but we've seen that it's just on this left side. And there we go, there's a shadow wolf again. There it is, there's our shadow wolf. Let's kill the shadow wolf. Okay, let's go back. It was a little further this time. And Rorsch Val. Nobody else in the zone. Rorsch Val is at the top of the list. This is good. This is about the middle of the, middle of the lower half of the zone. This seems like a good spot to set up. We'll wait one minute. So with normal tracking, whatever pops up on top of Rorsch Val Knoll will be the next placeholder or Quilming. There it is, a line. So we're in business. See, line should be behind us straight ahead. Wow. So it can be anywhere, it appears. And this is probably it right here. That's Lioness. Ahead and to the right. And wow, we're way up there. Okay, and one last track. We're going to wait one more cycle here, 60 seconds. We're the only ones in the zone. The only ones killing anything, and these are all qualified as a uh, placeholder. It could be a lioness, a lion, uh, miss wolf, shadow wolf, elephant, scape, split paw, knoll, avocet, egret, rook, charger, courser, centaur, charger, courser, foal, or sh or shelty. So one more, and we'll wait here. I know this is video has been long, but we've got to make sure it's long enough so that. You guys get a good look at what's going on here. This will make it a lot easier. Once you know what the placeholder is and how to find it, uh, it becomes infinitely easier. You won't have to just go around guessing because it took me weeks to do this, but uh, even following a lot of the guides, uh, it didn't turn out like I expected. But uh, with this, should be able to track him down a lot faster. There's an elephant. Okay, let's see where's the elephant. Ahead to left.
So we've killed a bunch of placeholders. I would really like to see a quill main spawn. That would be a nice surprise. Really, really nice. Um, but they don't know. This must be him. He's an elephant. And there we go. Let's wait one more. I just can't. The suspense is killing me. I just, I gotta see. This has got to be the cool main placeholder. It's rarely that you get in this situation where you'll get to actually see the placeholder. Instead of spending days farming this, you could spend a few hours maybe. Or less. Sixty seconds. And we wait. That's our lioness. That's another placeholder. Let's show you where the next placeholder is. It's straight ahead this time. So what's weird is the placeholder could come up on any of these pathing routes. Now that I'm starting to see it. There it is. Okay, line is down. One more. And a lioness, um, this one is uh, definitely on the placeholder list. So as you're seeing, it's a very, very rare spawn because we've killed off lots of the placeholders and uh, Maybe four or five already and no Quillman again yet. So you may have to kill a lot of the placeholders. Maybe something like a hundred. And there's your lion. That's the next one. Wow, right here. It was right next to us. Let's see what we get next. And a lion is on the placeholder list. But the placeholder can be anywhere. It can be here, it, as you've seen, it can be there up there up there it can be all in this area here it can be that's what makes it hard it's a random placeholder Any milk? There it is, quill main. Okay, guys, you are in business. Two quill mains. Here we go. We are on today. 
this is the bingo all right guys you've hit the jackpot you can see where quill main spawns we're hightailing it over there and um this is how you do it that's how you get the placeholder do it with a ranger with uh big tracking 300 tracking so you can see everything a druid may cover this area we're racing over there what a surprise all the way down to the hermit hut so wow biggest surprise finding the placeholder is going to be really really hard that's the thing and there is Quillmain again okay so let's follow Quillmain for a little bit I know this video is long and I hope it's very educational to you guys and hope it aids you in getting yes we are at the, the hunter hermit hut looks like Quillmain is going to do the same thing it's going to go up down up down up down zigzag zigzag the whole zone you can see it going straight up here straight north it'll go all the way up there but it did spawn as you can see down here but it could have spawned possibly anywhere let's go ahead and kill it and guess what we got the leggings again here come the the leggings again and again uh we don't want that don't care for that so there it is and there is the, the area right behind us down here so we're going to move out of this area so we got two quill mains and um, we know how to do it now you know how to get the placeholder i'm just wondering if i left anything out i want to make sure it didn't leave anything out so that it increases the chances of all you getting quill main over and over because you if you need the pegasus cloak you're gonna to have to quill, kill quill main a lot of times you can see here two kills on quill main no pegasus cloak a rare mob with an even rarer item on it so let's wait right here we should be able to cover a lot of the zone i'm just I, I just can't wait you know i've been doing this so long and waiting that i just don't want to log off i just want to stay in and keep hunting it there it is a lion okay and the lion behind and to the left straight ahead we're headed back to the hermit hut this seems like the area right here come on lion a little bit different area and straight ahead wow the spawn rates are so random it could be anywhere You definitely don't want to do this when there's a lot of people in the zone but what can you do if there are here we go wow could you look at the variation here go back and check the video guys you'll see going back to the middle have time for one more pop Okay, last one. There it is. There's your lioness. Uh, let's see. Straight ahead, and you can see over here this time. Way, way over here way way wow look at the next respawn is all the way over here this is your lioness all right everybody 
hope this helps and good luck in getting Quillmane. We got the, the leggings twice, but if you need the cloak, you're going to be out here for a long, long time. So uh, good luck to all of you out there. Let's see if we can take one look at the cloak here. Yeah, uh, I mean, let's see what we what you will need. Magician Epic, this is where you get it. And uh gonna do one last check here. Yes, the Pegasus Feather Cloak is used for the Magician Epic. So that's the one you want out there. So bring a ranger, make a ranger, and come out here and camp Quill Main. We're gonna wait for one more pop. And you can count back, go back in the video, count how many spawns it was before we got the second quillmine after we killed the first one it might have been something like 10 so it means maybe it's a one out of 10 chance that you're going to get it escape clip split paw this is another placeholder good thing it's only a one minute spawn timer uh let's go get this guy And he's, yep, it's all around here. Wow, way, way over here. Can't believe it, wow. Other thing you can do is just do like I did and kill every single thing in the zone from this area down from Century Asian Alchen down and just keep killing it and uh, maybe the odds will be with you. And this is the guy. And there it is. Oh, there's quill main. Three quill mains. Okay, guys, I like that. It's going to be a big block for us. So we got three quill mains. Please cough up the cloak for all of you doing the Magician Epic. Uh, this one's for you. And uh, you can see how much, is e how much easier it is to do once you got the placeholder. Uh, without the placeholder, this can be a week. Or even more. When you get the placeholder, it's look at how fast it is. Three quill mains. And look at where it spawns. It could be anywhere down below split paw. Anywhere. And that one that I killed might escape split paw might not have been the placeholder. Or it might have immediately triggered quill main. Wow, look at this. You gotta be kidding me, way out here. Seriously, okay, come on, cough up the cloak. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Three legs, no cloak. Oh gosh. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and good luck out there. I really hope this helps.